Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and on this video, we are talking about the difference between an ERV and an HRV, and which one you should install in your home. First things first, what does it stand for? HRV is a heat recovery ventilator, and ERV is energy recovery ventilator, or more accurately, an enthalpy recovery ventilator. And enthalpy is the transfer of moisture. What these are, are essentially fresh air systems. They are the lungs to your home. So how they work is, Fresh air comes into the home and stale air leaves the home. However, as the fresh air is coming into the home, it gets filtered and it goes through a core where the stale air preconditions the fresh air coming in. So that means that if it's 20 degrees inside your home and minus 20 degrees outside, some of that temperature, most of that temperature from the 20 degree air will be transferred to the minus 20 degree air and come into your home at 15 degrees, for example. So why is this important? Well, EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, actually ranks indoor air quality, or IAQ for short, as one of the top five risks to our health. So knowing that it's one of the top five risks, we should all be taking this seriously because EPA also says that we spend, on average, 87% of our time indoors. And now, with this new world that we live in, we're spending more time in our houses, but we have control over that fresh air in our house. So I can hear people saying that, why don't I just open a window or I live in an old house and it's extremely leaky, so I have fresh air coming into my house all the time. Well, yes and no, it, it depends on where you live. If you open your window, sure, you have fresh air coming into the house, but it might not be going everywhere in your house. A properly balanced system will be delivering this fresh air, preconditioned fresh air, throughout your entire home 24 seven, not only when you open your windows. And if you're relying on a old leaky house to bring in that fresh air, for example, I would venture to say that that's not fresh air. You have all sorts of pollutants inside of your assemblies of your house that are then being sucked into your home and actually affecting that indoor air quality that I was just talking about. In a perfect world, you have a perfectly tight home, so an airtight home, which isn't necessarily possible. So an extreme, let's say extremely airtight home and you have this fresh air system running 24 seven. Consider your skin, for example. The assembly of your wall, your envelope of your house is your skin. You want moisture to be able to travel through it if required, like you wanna perspire, but you don't wanna breathe through your skin, right? You wanna breathe through your lungs, you breathe through your nose, your nose filters the air before it goes into your lungs, and then you breathe out. You want that to happen, and then you wanna prevent air from going through your skin, or in this case, through your wall assemblies. So now what's the difference between an HRV and an ERV? The real difference is in the core. An HRV has a core which does not allow the transfer of moisture from one side to the other, meaning that if you have a humid day outside and you have your air conditioning run inside and you're running an HRV, all that hot, humid air is coming into your home. Yes, it's getting preconditioned, so it's not as hot when it comes into the house, but it's still carrying all of that humidity into your house. And then your air conditioner has to work even harder to get rid of it. Whereas if you have an ERV, that moisture will partly be transferred into the outgoing air so your air conditioner won't be working as hard. Now, what does this mean? Where do I install an HRV and where do I install an ERV? Ultimately, where we live, we're in Ottawa, Canada, is we want ERVs because we have hot, humid summers. So we wanna be able to run it 24 seven. If we have a hot, humid summer and we have an HRV, we shouldn't be running that HRV in the summer unless we want to run our air conditioner more. It's actually not going to help our indoor air quality as much because now we have too much humidity in the house and then we're wasting too much energy running that. So that would be an example of where you want it. Whereas if you live somewhere where you have dry, hot days, then sure, you could run that all the time. But anywhere where you have that humidity that's too high on either one side or the other, and you need to get rid of it, you wanna have an ERV that allows that moisture to travel through that core into the other side, whether it's the exhaust or the intake, and out. Now, if your home doesn't have an HRV or an ERV right now, or maybe it does. A lot of times I've heard stories where people had these boxes hanging in their basements and they didn't know what it was for, so they just unplugged it. But there's a couple ways that you can install it. So if you have a forced air system in your house, you can use that ductwork. However, it's not ideal because 
these systems run at a much lower fan speed. So that means that you want a smaller duct system for it so that air can be distributed properly. If you were to use the existing ductwork, you'd have to run the fan in your, whether it's your furnace or whatever you're using, constantly to be able to get that fresh air to the rooms and then to get rid of the stale air. So it's not ideal, um, but I understand that that's probably the best solution or the most cost-effective solution in a lot of cases. Now, you're saying, what if I just run a bathroom fan or the range hood or something like that? Well, that goes back to the initial, initial problem that I mentioned with the pollutants coming through your wall. If you turn on a bathroom fan or you turn on a kitchen range hood, that air is being sucked out of your house. That air is being sucked in somewhere. So it's coming through all the leaky spots within your house. Ideally, you get rid of all of those and you have what's called a booster switch put into those rooms and then you have an exhaust that links through this fresh air system, this HRV or ERV and outside. So every time you're sucking air into the house, you're exhausting air at the same rate and it's being, being preconditioned. That is the ideal solution. So wherever you are, talk to your HVAC contractors, make sure you find somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. If you're living somewhere like where we are, where this, this climate where we have those hot humid summers and we have the cold winters and they're telling you that you should put an HRV, I would say go to the next contractor. This is what we were trained to do years ago. The building science has changed. ERVs have gotten better. ERV cores used to freeze. So now an ERV is the better option in most situations. I hope I answered all of your questions, but if I didn't, please post them in the comments section below. I want to make sure that you understand this and that you have a healthy indoor air quality because this is so important to everybody. I want to make sure you have that healthy, comfortable and efficient home. If you want to learn about what we did in the three day cottage, you can check out the episode here and remember until next time, live consciously.